Today we are going to look at organic conversions and more precisely we are going to try to convert 1-propanol to 2-propanol. That's how we can proceed. The formula of 1-propanol can be written like this, CH3, CH2, CH2OH. It's a primary alcohol and we want to convert it to 2-propanol. That's our objective. So in order to do that, uh, there are a number of assumptions that we can make. Now whenever you're doing a conversion, what I would normally do is start from the products and work back to the reactants. So if you are to look at the methods available for preparing secondary alcohols, there are a couple of methods. Based on what we have discussed in the classroom, uh, I would say that reducing a ketone would give you a secondary alcohol, which means if you have propanol, you can change it into 2-propanol by actually reduction. But again, a primary alcohol like 1-propanol cannot be converted to a ketone. Therefore, we have to look at other ways of converting 1-propanol to 2-propanol. The second method would be to prepare an alcohol from an alkyl halide, which means if you can actually change 1-propanol to 2-bromopropane or 2-chloropropane, you can perform nucleophilic substitution reaction and prepare 2-propanol. That's a possibility. Again, the number of steps involved we are going to minimize. So the third possibility we're going to look at is we can always prepare a secondary alcohol, in this case, from propene. And in accordance with Markovnikov's addition, we can, we can add the OH group to the second carbon atom so that we will get a secondary alcohol. That means this is what we are trying to do. Prepare propene from one propanol because if you have propene, you can actually perform hydrolysis on this and then change propene to 2 propanol in accordance with Markovnikov's addition. Markovnikov's rule states that when an unsymmetrical reagent, in this case, we're going to consider it as HOH, H is positive, OH is negative. When you take an unsymmetrical reagent, the negative part of the reagent, in this case OH group, is always added to the carbon atom of the alkene. There are two carbon atoms that are linking the double bonds. We attach the OH group or the negative part of the reagent to the carbon atom having the less number of hydrogen atoms. So it would be the second carbon atom. That would give you 2-propanol. So we know that can take place. So if that is possible, what we should be doing is convert 1-propanol to propene. And that is possible because by using a dehydration reaction, using concentrated sulfuric acid, we can easily convert 1-propanol to propene. Therefore, the steps needed to be taken for conversion of 1-propanol to 2-propanol would be convert 1-propanol to propene and then hydrolyze it using dilute sulfuric acid and water so that you get 2-propanol. If you like the video, please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Thank you, and have a great day.